The sign of the cross is such a familiar prayer that we may often say it with little thought to what we are actually doing. Just think about it. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. When we make the sign of the cross on our bodies, we are expressing a desire to identify with Christ, who was nailed to the cross, so that we may enter into the inner life of the Trinity. The symbol of Christ nailed to the cross strikes deeply within us. St Paul says, Jews demand signs and Greeks seek wisdom, but we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and folly to Gentiles, but to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power and the wisdom of God. St Paul wants us to understand Christ crucified as revealing the power and the wisdom of God. But perhaps we are too ready to see Christ crucified as a stumbling block to Jews and folly to Greeks. Often when a Dominican preaches, they are first preaching to themselves. And I have to admit, this is the case here. My awareness that Christ crucified can be a cause for offence or an opportunity for ridicule makes me fearful. If only I could be more open to the grace of Christ crucified who reveals the power and wisdom of God. But in the way I live my life I more easily recognise a spirit of timidity. For instance when I'm travelling on public transport, if it's time to start praying the Divine Office, I'll do it in as discreet a way as possible. I find something troubling about making the sign of the cross in a secular context, where I may be seen by non-Christian onlookers. I'll worry that they'll think I'm insensitive, as someone who doesn't care whether or not I cause offence to others. But also the sign of cross is deeply personal to me and making what is deeply personal visible to others makes me feel vulnerable. The safe option is to try to hide the cross, put up defences and think everyone will be happier all round. It's a challenge to get out of this mindset. The fact is we are all vulnerable, we are all wounded, but we pretend that we are strong, that we've got everything worked out, that everything's under control. And so we cover ourselves up, perhaps in the belief that a big cover up will cure our woundedness. This is a sin that has infected societies throughout the ages. But cover-up only leads our wounds to become foul and festering. We become disconnected with reality and we lose sight of who we really are. The reality is we are unable to heal ourselves. There is no natural cure for sin. The only cure is to take our bandages off and let Christ's healing ointment in. As Isaiah says, He was wounded for our transgressions, He was bruised for our iniquities. Upon Him was the chastisement that made us whole, and with His stripes we are healed. This is where we see the power and wisdom of God. It is because of our violence, our lying, and our hatred that Christ was crucified. But his resurrection shows the impotence of these things. Christ loves us dearly. 
and we see the power of his love in his passion. So we have no reason to be fearful. We have no reason to hide our vulnerability. If we bind ourselves to Christ crucified, we can let go of all our pretenses, of all our false securities, and go into free fall. God will catch us. Then we can say together with St. Paul, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. <laughs>